TuvaldiRadio.net. I'm Robert Miguel checking in once again with our new feature called People of Uvalde. We're trying to do our best to bring you the voices of the people that you know, you love them, you miss their face. Social distancing is kind of a, I don't know, it's spread aside a little bit, but uh, we're doing our best to bring you information directly from the people you're used to dealing with. And here's a real special treat. Somebody who works real, real hard at the city of Uvalde, who I believe is checking in from the home office right now, Sarada Sanchez! Hi. So, so <laughs> How right, are you, Robert? I am great. Now, first of all, you and the family are safe and healthy, right? Yes, we are. We are safe and healthy, and we are. Well, I'm working from home two days out of the week, and then I'll be in the office for three days. So it has been different. It has been challenging, especially with the kiddos around. But we're getting through it. First of all, i got to give you guys some major props. The city of Uvalde, uh, the mayor, everybody you know in the, uh, in the office, you guys have done a fantastic job of getting information out via the website, social media, uh, email blasts, and whatnot. So thank, thank you guys so much for what you guys are doing. Like I said, everybody's doing businesses just a little bit differently now. Let's talk about how the city um, has, is rolling with the changes right now, okay? And you're very welcome. And... Uh so the city of Uvalde, we are close to the public, but we are still providing services to our wonderful community. Um, the Public Works Department, Sanitation and Utility Services are running as usual. Uh, landfill is open, usual hours, um, so you can feel free to go and use the, the landfill as you wish. However, our recycling center is closed to the public. We also have our permit office who's doing things a little differently. So the permits can be downloaded from our website at the city of Uvalde, uvaldetx.com. That website is uvaldetx.com. Uh, you find the permit department, and then you can click on permits, and it'll give you a list of all of the applications that we have online. You can print it and return it to our utility office. Or if you don't have access to a computer, you can also go by City Hall. And at the north end, front porch, we have all of the applications outside. You may pick one up as you wish or whichever one you need. And then after you're finished filling it out, you can turn it into our utility office. Our drive through window is open as well as our drop-off night box. You can utilize those two forms to return your permit. And then somebody from the permit office will call you and give you the fees. And you can pay either over the phone or, uh, again, go by the drive through window to drop off your, your fee for the permit. We are currently, the permit department is, still performing inspections. However, they have prioritized health and safety inspections, and we're trying to ask the public to hold off on any major projects until possibly the end of the month or until all of this, you know, subsides, so that way we can make sure that everybody stays safe and stays healthy. Uh, Municipal Court is doing things differently. So Municipal Court has postponed all appearances in person until further notice. However, you may still plea by email, mail, or drop-off at the utility window. You may also pay for a citation online at trafficpayment.com or by phone at 1-800-444-1187. So those two avenues for payment are trafficpayment.com or by phone at 1-800-444-1187. You will need your citation number and the amount on hand in order for you to pay over the phone or by um, or via online. And also, if you have any questions, you may email your questions to clerkofcourt at uvaldetx.gov. That's clerk of court at uvaldetx.gov for any municipal court questions. Well, that's a lot of great information. Again, we've been talking to Sarita Sanchez with the city of Uvalde, working from home, being a boss lady over there. So uh, thank you so much for the information. Is there anything else we need to touch on? Uh, no, if anybody has any questions, they can feel free to call me, uh, Sarita Sanchez at 830-278-3315. And my extension is 121. That's 830-278-3315, extension 121. Well, Sarada, thank you so much for your time today, and that's going to wrap up this edition of People of Uvalde right here on uvalderadio.net.